Hello everybody and welcome back to Southwest Norway. As you can see, every field is now ripe. Actually, did we do everything as barley? I think we might have done. Oh no, there was, there was one obviously grape in there. Um, but anyway, yeah, they're all ready. They're all ripe and ready to go. Um, so, <laughs> what we need to do really in the next two episodes is harvest everything. Like I say, this is going to be quite a short map series because it's not a very big... Well, the fields aren't very big and we don't really own too much. Um, and also we obviously need to make way for other maps as well, mainly Naves Well Extended, which I will be starting very soon, so please do stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, obviously today we need to begin the harvest, and we're not going to replant the fields, this is going to be the only big harvest we do. And then at the end of it all, we'll sell the machinery probably, because we'll be selling off the farm, and we'll see exactly how much money we have made. But one thing I can say with confidence is we're not going to be in debt, which is brilliant. And also, we're not going to be in debt because we have quite a few silage bales to sell as well. I think quite a few, meaning four. But still, they're worth quite a bit of money. Uh, that's not good. I need to drop this thing off. I would reverse it in, but I can't reverse it. I'm too bad at reversing this thing. That'll do. Right, so let's put the uh, AS trailer on here. Yeah, the Marston trailer. I, I totally forgot what it was then. But yes, we're going to need this today. Like I said before, the sand for this Valmet is quite tinny, but it's a good looking tractor, so it'd be a shame not to use it. So we'll head back down to one of the fields. We might start off with the Aussie Rape actually, because I haven't done that for a while. And also, uh, <laughs> you might remember a few episodes ago I bought the, well, two Volvo BMs. One was the loader tractor, and the other one was the just standard red tractor. Um, I think the red tractor might be for show. I mean, it's, it's an okay mod, but it isn't the best. I think it's because it's been converted so many times. It could even be from FS11 originally, I'm not too sure. Certainly from 13, but it could have been converted to 13 from a previous version. Uh, so it's lacking it's lacking um, interest, if you know what I mean. It's It's got a few errors. For example, it's missing a tow bar, which is kind of essential. And it's also very loud, and the textures aren't the best. So... I like it in its own way, but I think for the Let's Play series here, I don't think it's the best thing to use. But to have it in the farm, it's a good thing to look at, and obviously it blends in very well. You can see, yeah, the textures are fairly plain. Uh, to be honest, actually, this wheel looks like it's from FS09, so it could be. I don't know. It does look like a, a very old mod, um, but yes, it's still good in its own way. Anyway, without any further ado, let's get into the new Holland Combine. Some people love this thing, some people hate it, not too sure why. Um, apparently the reason why we were hitting the ground before with the header is actually not the Combine at all. Apparently it is the field, but I'm not too sure. I'm not going to point fingers there because I'm not too sure myself. Uh, where have I put the header? Was it back there? No, it's over here. No, I like it. I, obviously it's not a, a brand new Lexian, but... It's old, so you would expect it to have these weathered marks on it. Um, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with the mod. I think it's a pretty good mod. Right. Is that going to be lined up? Uh, close enough. That would do. Yeah, TF-78. It's uh, quite a classic machine. Have I hit the tree? Oh, I've hit the tree. You useless driver. I just said what many are thinking. One thing which is very handy about this header is that it can lock onto the trailer. Very useful. So this is our field just down here, the Orsid Rape. Uh, we're kind of cutting across the field to get to it, but we should be okay. There we go, and then, well, we need to drop the entire header off. There we go. That's done it. So yeah, Many of you do ask, when am I going to start Naveswell? I don't want to talk too much about a different map while doing this one, but basically, at the time of recording this, Tom, the creator, is just sorting things out for me, and uh, we should be going very soon, hopefully. We'll start the series very soon. That is the plan anyway. Hopefully, it will stay that way, because obviously I want to do a pretty decent series before the release of FS17. Now, I know that 17 is just less than two months away now, but... Sometimes, when I do like a 30, 40, 50 episode series, it can drag on for a few months. 
Right, I'm going to have to stop, I think. I need to download a mod. I need to get the automatic levelling mod for the, the header. One second. And we are back. So as you can see, looking at the control panel there, we have three more controls. We've got cutter height, auto, cutter down and cutter up. This will allow us to set the cutting height because currently it's obviously hitting the ground which is no good at all. So left shift and J should lift it up a bit. Yeah. So we should, this should prevent it from hitting the ground, hopefully. Um, you can put it on auto I believe, but um, I think we'll probably set it to manual today just because it might be easier. This is quite high crop, so we need to have the reel pretty high. And now we just need to hope for the best. Really hope this is going to work. Yes, that has sorted the issue. So if you've got this issue with any map or any combine, just download this mod, I'll link it below, and it will sort your problem. At least it should do. It's a very, very recommended mod. Um, I don't actually know why it gets this problem in the first place. I don't know why the header would hit the ground on some fields, but not others. I guess, I don't know, might be a bit bumpier, but this will fix the problem for you. So yesterday we were doing the uh, heavy haulage kind of thing. We were moving the office block and the Volvo dumper, and the contract was 5,000 kroner, and we have now been paid in pounds. Um, I don't think there is kroner in farming simulator so that is the reason why we don't have that actually I don't think there is there could be I've never really looked at the currency too much I thought it was just um, great British pounds euros and US dollars I'm not too sure pretty sure it is maybe they'll um, expand that in the future but yes basically today we're going to be harvesting this field at least it's not a very big field that is one of the things which is quite nice about this map you can use the really small equipment because the fields are all quite unique shapes but not very big at all and we should be getting a very good yield because obviously the um, cedar which we used was an automatic fertilizer as well which is very handy oh we're gonna have to try and watch this fence and then I'll probably go and crash directly into it because I do stuff like that weird um, oh yeah <laughs> I can remember now that the end of the uh, logging episode I did a few days ago. Was it a few days ago? Time flies. Was it last week? Yes, I think it was. It was last week. Um, yes, how embarrassing. If you watched the last five seconds of that video, wow, I probably shouldn't have put that in. Singing to myself in a tractor. No. No, don't do that. It's just embarrassing. 45%, we're obviously going to have to get the traction trailer here in a minute or two. It'll be the Valmet. The tractor's engine was left running, but because we've restarted the game now to install the mod, it will have most likely switched off. But we might be able to get away with putting this on the worker just briefly. Obviously, we can't do the whole field like this because it's going to get very confused. But just while I teleport... Yes, I teleport on every map except for Thornton Farm at the moment. Yeah, you can see it's got quite a tinny sound, but I can't keep bringing that up because overall the mod's pretty good. I'm guessing there is going to be an actual track to this field, probably up here, instead of cutting across the field. Oh, it actually goes up here. Well, I should have done this in the first place. I think it goes in here somewhere. Yep. Yes, if the game sound is a bit too quiet, I apologise. It's because a lot of the mods are different volumes. Um, I'll try and rectify this for the next episode. If that does successfully turn around there and go back down there, we can unload on the way down. But it might not do. Mm, oh, hang on, it's going to reverse again, definitely. Please do bear with it. It's, uh, well, these workers, they're very handy. And Auto Combine is renowned to be a very good mod. It's just it can be very slow in reverse. And it can sort itself out for quite a long time. Yeah, that's good. So because of the fertiliser, we are getting very good yield out of this. Also, we don't have soil mods, so no pressure was on to do this. I think the tractor might actually be louder than the combine. Surprisingly. Let's get the rest out of it. 20% left in the combine harvester. 
You can just about see it going in there. There we go. So we'll jump back in the combine and resume. Yeah, we don't we don't really want to have it on the worker too long because not only is it expensive, but it can be very slow as well. If it's not a totally open field, which is square all the way around, it can take a while. And there's also the potential for it to get confused and start going zigzagging across the field, which we don't really want. Uh, but no, don't get me wrong, uh, Auto Combine and Auto Tractor are both very good mods. But yeah, definitely. Down, definitely download the... Um, I keep forgetting what it's called. The Automatic Leveling Mod thing. I'll link it anyway. But yes, if you're having any issues at all, definitely get it. I've got the old route still. So I suppose we could keep it out. Because we're going to need it again. And this field is not very big. I think what I might do in the next few episodes is bail fields 3 and 4 which are barley, I think. I keep saying this, but I'm not too sure now. I have lost confidence in what I did. What did I do? Yes, it was barley. Um, because I wanted to download the Rollant, the class Rollant round baler. Because I think it's going to be a very good mod for the map. So we'll be able to do some baling in those two fields. We'll put it on bale mode. We'll probably have to row it up first of all, so that's what we'll do. Uh, we do have a rake anyway, or windrower, so that is no problem at all. It is actually on the Volvo BM currently, so it might be an excuse to use it, it just depends how the sound plays up and also um, if it will actually attach properly to the rake. I think I have attached it, um, but it might not pull it straight or something, I don't know. I'll have to uh, give it a go. I can't talk too harshly about it because I haven't really tried it yet, but I know it does have a few little issues. But no, I do like this combine. It's very good. And this field is already, I suppose you could say, nearing completion. Interesting, where we've driven, it's turned it into like a grass texture. It must be the crop destruction. Once again, the combine is full, and this time it really is. It's 83% full, so it's much fuller than before. Um, it's a bit tight here. Ugh, we're being totally smothered in bits of Aussie grape chaff. Uh, yes, let's see if we can get underneath here. Well, it's unloading while reversing. That is very time effective, you could say. <laughs> Multitasking. No, let's go uh, let's straighten up a bit. Actually, it's probably empty enough now to finish off anyway. It is almost done. Where is it going? Ah, oh, there we go. I think it's cutting about a centimetre there. Yeah, there it goes. Um, and the next field to do will be number three, I think, which is just over there. I think it stopped. We better finish it off ourselves. Here we go, will this fit in? Looks like it will do. Or not. Close. But not close enough. So yes, these fields are very small, they don't take long to do at all. Next field will be on swath mode. To totally empty the trailer though before we continue because it's already got the oil seed rape seed in here. Lots of oil seed rapes. They look like. Hmm. Uh, you know those aniseed balls you get? <laughs> they look like aniseed balls or something. Tasty. Right. So let's continue. In fact, we probably can just cut straight across the field because there isn't really any division at all. We own all the land, so we should go straight across. The trailer has moved a bit. It should automatically change the cutters on the side of the header. Yep. 
to are they called uh, what are they called uh, guides I think I think they're called guides is it in yes we need to get it into the right mode here they're not dividers are oh they are they are dividers I think they are the black things on the side there yes I think they're called dividers would it have to be really neat with this because it's going to be rowed up but if we get it slightly neat, <laughs> then that would be good. This bit is tiny. We should get, get it done in no time at all. And just look at the speed it's filling up. Already 40% full. Ah, oh, thank you very much, Barrier. we get to the end of here, that would be our queue to go and empty the trailer. I think we'll just sell it straight off, instead of storing it, because we don't really need it. So I'll switch the combine off there, and go back over to the Vultra Valmet tractor, and go and sell it. Not the trailer, the produce within. Uh, so the best place to sell this at is going to be most likely the place where we're we looking here. We we'll keep the wrong map. Uh, Fellas, go. Bet. Hopefully that was uh, half decent pronunciation. I did say I was not going to pronounce that because of that reason. Um, but that is probably going to be the best place. Failing that, the Landy Agri Shop, which will probably be up there as well, of one of the best places to go to. Exactly the same. If there's one thing I could add to the tractor, it would be a beacon. It would be the icing on the cake. Okay, it's a really good tractor anyway. Uh, but yeah, a beacon would look amazing. I don't know if these ones tend to have beacons in real life or not really, the Valmets. I really don't know. Can anyone shed some light on this for me? Oh yes, uh, those four bales need to be sold. We've lost the bale grab, so we're just going to have to spike them. But that is fine, because we're going to sell them straight off anyway, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, they need to be done before the end. We'll check up on the fermentation process at the on, on the way back of, from here, and we'll see if they are ready. If they are, they'll be called silage bales instead of grass bales. Okay. So we need to weigh it first of all. Let's see what the weight is. 16 tons, well, 16,271 kilograms. So about just short of 16.3 tons. But the price for this should be in the region of, what would it be, about 13,000 pounds or so, maybe 12. Let's see, it's going up quickly. 11, okay, close enough. Let's check up on those silage bales. Okay, this is field five just here. We cut field five in episode five. As someone quite rightly pointed out a few episodes back, it's a good way of remembering if you need to remember that kind of thing. Um, let's have a look here. Fermenting, 57.6%. They're taking quite a long time, but we need to get a good bit of produce here. Currently worth £164 per bale. That can be increased by many thousands. So we need to just leave it and get the best, well, 100% fermentation to get the best price possible. Let's head back to the combine and finish off field number three. Interesting, we have still got straw coming out the back despite the engine being off. I think it's probably because I turned the engine off while it was still threshing. Not something you would usually do. Unload, there we go. So, yep, tiny field. Shouldn't take us very long to do this. And then 
we'll be done for today. And tomorrow we'll finish up, we'll start start and finish field four and hopefully begin rowing up ready for the class baler. It's hard to decide really whether or not a windrower is required here because a lot of it looks okay, but then the corners especially are a bit messy. And the windrower we have might not be wide enough to pull in two swaths at a time. I think what we'll have to do is just give it a go, and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I've just discovered a new camera. If you hold down the left ALT button, it seems to do this. I don't know if it's supposed to, but a nice little feature there. I think it's for the auger. When we unload, we'll have a look. Um, it's quite a secret camera, unless it does tell you on the control list, of course, which it probably does do. Well, I can't see it, but... Yes, it probably does say it somewhere, mod description or something. Yeah, because when you hold it down, it looks to be... Oh, it's not working now. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it looks to be on the auger. Yes, it is. So, oh no. So that'd be quite interesting when we come to unload in a second. I think we're going to have to row it up because of this atrocious harvesting. be a good test. Well, judging by the dust, it's unloading. Nice camera. Good little feature. We should certainly fit it all in the trailer. The trailer is only 60% full and we've only got that tiny section left. go. Finished. Fantastic. So we'll unload and then sell this load as well. See what money we finish off with today. And then yes, tomorrow we need to finish and we'll start and finish field four. And we'll go from there. If you have any suggestions about what we can do next week, please do let me know. We might still be bailing, but we will be bailing for the first episode. Um, if we stop at episode 15, there'll be two episodes next week. If we continue to episode 20, obviously there'll be a, a three episode week next week, um, but we'll just have to see. In fact, I might do a bit of a vote, so uh, stay tuned. If we fold this up here, then we can uh, switch everything off, lower the header down if we can do without the engine on, we can. And then finally, take the traction trailer to the cell point. 70% full, and this is the whole field in here. So I'm guessing this is going to be a heavier load. Oh, can't see. Yes, it is. 17.2 tons, roughly. Uh, so it's, it's slightly heavier. But we've got more of the crop in here. But the price we get for it will actually probably be either the same or slightly less. Here we go. This will be embarrassing because it probably be loads more. But it shouldn't be because this is barley, not canola. Yeah, a bit less. And we had more of it. So that worked out as it should have done. So that is it for today. I keep almost running into that. What is it? Light thing. That is it for today. Thank you very much for watching. And please do join me again tomorrow in the next episode on Southwest Norway. Until then, thanks again and see you again soon. Bye for now.